Welcome back. This is Zero HP. My name is Tracy, and I have Ian and Kevin joining me today. And we're talking about Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, I love Guardians of the Galaxy. Doing a little review. Doing a little review <laughs> for the Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, so um, I liked it. What did you guys think? I, I Definitely loved liked it. it. Absolutely loved it. I know. I was not <laughs> expecting to go into this. I was like, Guardians of the Galaxy are the lesser known in the Marvel universe. I had no. Yeah. 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 So they're lesser known, but. It came out great. Like I think up there with the Avenger film. Like, yeah, I, I liked it better personally. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it felt like a Joss Whedon film or yeah. show. Hey, yeah. Firefly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I did that on purpose because that's what I was thinking the yeah. whole film. Like, it's just it feels like Firefly. I mean, yeah. it's not like a copy or anything. Yeah. But it's just got that like the, but it has the great like, well-rounded characters and they're all funny and there's yeah. sarcasm and there's just. Every type of sense of humor but in there. There's lots of like action and fun at the same time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah, they can get serious on a moment, no, you know, yeah. moment's yeah. notice. You're like, whoa, okay, things are serious all of a sudden. And, but they can bring you back out with a good laugh, and, and it was never awkward and not at all. Flowed so well. And I think one of my favorite parts about it personally is all of the imagery. Like especially, when, I think when they go to nowhere is one of the most beautiful parts. Oh, oh wow. Like the whole like skull and like the clouds and, and all especially those races. the coloring too. Like yeah. some of the coloring is so beautiful and subtle at the same time. Mm -hmm. And it's like amazingly technicolor and still like kind of, but not in But you're still in space. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're still, still, still felt like it a felt like movie. a trade, like a inter, like intergalactic trade center where it just, like, you see all different races and everything, which was awesome. I thought that was amazing that they took that time to, because a lot of films don't do that nowadays. They take all that time to design all these different, like, races and, like, colors, like you said, for the different species and stuff. I thought it was a really well made film and, um, I mean, there was a there's a couple things that have changed compared to the the comic books. Right, of course. Yeah, of course. What they're gonna do that? Um, I think that Grimora, the assassin chick, I think she could have had a more prominent role in the yeah. game because she wasn't really there is the whole time they're implying that she was a badass assassin, one of the greatest assassins in the whole like universe. But in the in the movie, it wasn't like portrayed as that at all. No. She was like kind of was almost submissive kind yeah. of. So I was like, I was expecting her to, like just stab somebody. Yeah, you know, I do think that there could be some real good potential in, like, a sequel of, oh. like, finding out more about everybody, yeah. and especially mm -hmm. their backgrounds, because it's all a big mystery when you go into it. Like, right. oh, there's this person, and they're an assassin, I guess, and then this person, they're outlaws, and yeah. he's, like, someone who's come from a planet that's supposed to be blown up or whatever. Yeah, and, I mean, there's so much crazy stuff going on. It's just they did a good enough job of just making the writing well where you didn't need to. You kind of forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The writing was there's so definitely amazing. more of a story that they just jumped into. Right. So it's, like, but I, I do, would really like to hear about backgrounds. It's one of my yeah. favorite things. Me too, like absolutely. Characters. That'd be a great idea to kind of explore that more in a sequel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and then just like you said, the characters are so funny. I like the writing. Root and Rocket Raccoon, those two, oh my god, they were the best. Like, just a comic relief, and then, like you said, it just went serious. And like that one scene where they're in the, the nowhere the training post, and then they're like drinking or whatever, and then he got all serious. All yeah, of a sudden, and I was I'm also, like, we were I'm laughing, like, and we oh, felt bad. So, like, yeah, I felt oh, bad for him. I'm yeah. like, oh, dude, I'm sorry. Like, I was laughing at you this whole time. My bad. <laughs> you know? So, I was like, yeah, and then Groot was just, just amazing. <laughs> it's just one of those movies yeah. Yeah. when you He's walk true. out of the theater and there's a few like once a movie once a year mm -hmm. a movie where I'm still dropping one liners from that film. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, right exactly. now. Like, like, a couple days ago I was yeah. just talking about my reflexes are too fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know the context, but yeah. Yeah. Like, nothing goes over my head. Yeah. Movie, yeah. Right? <laughs> it's just there's no. so many quote, quotable lines yeah. that are just so oh, funny. Amazing. Classic, yeah, it's yeah, it's just great. like uh, like Tracy said, there's going to be a lot of background. I, I would prefer to learn more about the background because right. they changed quite a bit from you know the comic series. Like um, uh, Drex, he's actually supposed to be human in the comic series, but he's just like this badass alien with like a red tattoos and everything like that. So that was kind of cool. That's I want to know. I want to know about know. that. Yeah. yeah, I want to know about that and why they changed that. And then Peter Quill in the movie, he's like half angelic or something like that. Or, Which uh, they sort of. They sort of change, but the, Talk, but in, the yeah, yeah, just a little bit. In the, in the comic book series, his dad is actually an alien. He's not like anything supernatural. He's just an alien from another planet that got with his mom, and then he's like half alien, half uh, actually half royalty alien from another planet. And um, he's not angelic or anything like that. But the reason they, I think they put that in is because it gives him almost more like a superhuman, like like a superhero kind right. of role. 
Whereas if he was just like half human, half another species, he'd be like, it's kind of just normal, you know? Right. So, yeah. It's so normal. Yeah, so, <laughs> so normal within the Marvel Universe. Maybe with my so, alien ancestry. Yeah, alien you know? ancestry, but... Um, Which makes him not normal in the Marvel yeah, Universe, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So, I, 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 yeah, I'm interested in seeing what entails for the Guardians of the Galaxy. And, the, uh, like you said, the writing was amazing. Just it's great. It's really great. Yeah, it was just every scene... Came out to be really good. Like I'm really trying really hard right now to just not start dropping all those. I know, I know, I know, man. I know. It's, <laughs> I just want to keep going on. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just like there's a couple times where I just wanted to yell like, yeah, I got my dick joke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <All of a laughs> sudden, I just can't. I'll start laughing. Oh and my god. So, Speaking uh, of serious moments as well, one of my favorite scenes, uh, serious wise, was when. Um, there's the guy who's in the ship and he's trying to hold off like the giant ship and like all the tiny ships start breaking. Oh yeah, that oh, yeah. And, like, or something. I literally like wanted to cry. Like yeah. when he and like Rocket were talking oh, and they were kind yeah. of like combating but, against each other the yeah. whole movie and yeah. like near the end they're and like, We're doing each, this together. Yeah, like not we can beat this and it's just like chills. Oh. Yeah, that that scene in particular you mentioned, that scene was amazing. Oh. The, the, all the spaceships and like everything was going on. The only Right by had about that game or the movie was that the villain was kind of lackluster. I mean, Th Thanos, yeah, the, Thanos, yeah. the guy, Thanos, the guy that gives him the power is amazing, but like the guy yeah, we'll himself. We'll see him a lot more, but yeah, yeah but I can't remember Ronin, his name. Ronin, 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 yeah, Ronin. I was like, he's alright, yeah, yeah. yeah, pretty pro, pretty yeah, pro yeah. I was like, God, power driven, but you know, it's just, uh, I, yeah, that was the only lackluster point for me. But other even even that weakness they still use like at the end yeah. like, when he starts dancing. Yeah, <laughs> they're using that you're so serious against yeah. him. You know, yeah, they, they yeah, exactly. admit to the fact that that character was over. Exactly. Yeah. So they so, did it well. So. Um, yeah. I really like as well another one of my favorite scenes. So just random sort of jumping around here, but the um, scene when he's dancing. And like kind of near the beginning, right after I want to say the very very beginning scene, uh -huh. and they're bringing in like the title sequence of Guardians of the oh, Galaxy, yeah. uh -huh. and it's just like such a fun like soundtrack that you really oh, just like. Oh, that's right. Yeah, like, was going into the lots temple. Lots of great yeah. classic like seventies and eighties. It music. felt like Indiana Jones. Side. So um, for my rating of the game or for my rating of the movie, I'm gonna go ahead and give it. It's one of the my favorite movies of this year, so I'm gonna give it an eight point five out of ten. Oh, same actually. Uh, you're gonna, yeah, okay, I was going to say, I'm Well, I guess we're going to be really boring. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Because <laughs> to me, like, when I think of a, a nine or higher, there's only a couple of movies in yeah. that I've ever seen okay. in my life yeah. that I would put in there. Because yeah. there's a little, so much more movies than there are games in the history. Yeah. That it's a little harder for me right. to give a movie That's a nine than it is for me to give a game a nine. Yeah. yeah. It's so kind of the same. There, I only have like a handful of movies that are in nine. So, yeah. great movie. Yeah. 8.5, you're pushing it, but it's not. So, you're seeing the 8.5 overall? Um... I would highly recommend if you haven't seen it, go see it. By day one for me, yeah. Blu ray, so you yeah. come down to the store and pick it up. Amazing. So we're all good. And uh, again, thank you for watching Zero HP. Uh, likes, comment, subscribe. What'd you guys think? Let us know Talk what you think us. of it. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching.